All right. Um, first off, I saw when the compiler started, I saw a small uh, error here. It's easily to fix in the uh, container class to change this to container item if you haven't done so already when I made my mistake. All right. Um, with that said, let's continue with the container. We're going to use, uh, we're going to make an inventory for the player using container and add some bullets from our assault rifle to the container and then we use the reloader to um, get ammo from the container and eventually deplete ammo and when we reload take new ammo. Um, yeah, so let's, we're going to need the um, uh, player. We're going to create a new game object instead of adding a script uh, for the inventory. And let's add the container to it. So we cannot really do anything with the container because we made the, the items um, uh, private. So I'm just going to keep it like this. And let's go over to the assault rifle. And yeah, I think the best place is, of course, the reloader. So we're going to change the reloader so we can um, remove this from the ammo because it wasn't even really working. But we are keeping the max ammo here to assign it to the, uh, to the container. So do we already have an awake? No. So let's make a new uh, awake. awake. And let's uh, assign the... Um, first we're going to need the inventory of course so let's make a serialized field this is the container and we need the inventory for this for this and maybe other ammo so uh, and why is there inventory twice hmm. all right uh, never mind Let's head over to the assault rifle. Now we have the inventory here, so let's drag the inventory to our to the slot. Back to the weapon reloader. And um, so now we have access to the to the inventory to add stuff. So we can say uh, inventory add uh, and get uh, or take from take from container. So let's first add the new um, the new uh, item to the to the container, which will be uh, the name will be the dispit name. So which is going to be the assault assault rifle, I think. Yeah, the name of the transform. Uh, doesn't really need to be unique, but well, and we say max ammo. Uh, equals uh, the max ammo stated from the provided from the inspector. So now this gives me the ID I, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So it takes a GUID. So let's make. A, well, I already made it here when I was obviously testing this. Um, I usually when I make my movies, I just um, work something out in lines. And then delete everything, and then then I'll start recording. So sometimes it might keep a few references. So a container uh, item ID. Uh, create this one. System GUID. This equals the one we get when we add when we add one. Now when we are reloading, we are now simply saying um, reload when you're done. Uh, but now we're gonna take the amount uh, of bullets from the um, container and add it to our weapon or make it available for our weapon. So now we could, should say um, an integer we need to the value we got from the inventory. So amount from inventory is equal to the inventory uh, take from container takes the container item ID and we're going to take the uh, clip size. Uh, yeah, well, this is a design decision. I could do clip size, then it will always take 20. But if I'm reloading halfway, uh, you can top off your your rifle. 
maybe not very realistic, but for now we're going to do it. So we, we are uh, re uh, ducting the uh, rounds remaining in clip. So if we are reloading when we still have 10 bullets in our lip, in our weapon, we're going to take uh, 10 from our container. Okay, otherwise they will be lost. So. Uh, so we got the amount from the inventory, which will be immediately taken from the inventory when we press reload. Uh, but we only want to add it to the um, uh, to our player's weapon, or maybe remove the uh, shots fired by giving it the parameter of the amount of inventory we took from the inventory we took. So let's make a public uh, sorry a variable here with the amount we are reloading and then we're going to add um, a delegate here to our execute reload so we can add the amount like so uh, we could even write it even shorter by adding this line let's matter of fact do it as well so we're not making a variable because it's just a loose variable. We're not using it for anything else. Uh, extra reload and reload time. Uh, yeah. This should do it. Okay. Just uh, again, a matter of preference, what you prefer to read it's easy to write a code which is understandable by you or some uh, or the computer, but it's if you want to work with somebody else, uh, it's easy for them to know what you have done as well. Okay, so when we are now uh, executing the reload, we get the amount which we got from the container. Uh, um, so that could be less than we were hoping for if there's not enough ammo uh, available. But now we simply go for the, um, the the ammo could be removed. We're not using it at all. So let's first remove the uh, variable here. Um, and then we can say here for the uh, shots fired in clip, we um, remove the amount that we got from the so if we have already fired 20 and we are reloading, we are getting 20, it's going to be zero again. If we fired 10 and we got five, well, you know what, I, it's going to remove five, so we got 15 more bullets. So it's the other way around. Um, we don't need to do anything with the ammo because that's from the, from the container uh, now. Uh, would be nice to have something um, to know when we are when we have finished reloading maybe in an event but we can uh, we can work that later also what we could uh, make an event for the user interface to subscribe to so we know when the ammo changes when it reloads when it fires so we can update the UI uh, okay well let's see what happens uh, let's first go to the container and make the uh, list Let's make it public so we can see um, what happens. Uh, inventory. Oh yeah, it, it now it now says that we have an inconsistency between um, uh, our classes. I mean, this one is private, so we could not access it uh, from a public uh, property because it's private. So let's mark it for public as well, just for um, this. Uh, okay, let's hit play. See what happens. I don't see, uh, it needs to be serialized as well, otherwise it won't show up. System serialize. Now it should show up in the inspector. There we go. Hit play. All right, here it goes. Now it uh, it added the assault rifle with its name and a maximum of twenty. Um, let's look at our weapon. 
uh, which is of course now uh, there it is right here let's fire uh, a shot uh, we fired one two three four five now let's reload see what happens uh, shots fired and clip went back to zero a clip size is, is pretty low by the way um, let's look back at the inventory again oh we don't have the, the amount taken is private so we cannot see how much we did so we took 20 so let's fire some more reload so there was 10 5 15 fire again reload Oh, it seems that I can keep on going now forever. No, 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 it won't. So it stops reloading now after, after uh, I think maybe then 25 bullets. Um, because I had five when we started, I got 20 in the, in the, in the mag. So, uh, I mean, I got, I got five in my mag when I start. So let's make it a little bit different, 20, 20. Look at the uh, inventory maximum. Oh, let's just double check what we are doing. Let's make the amount taken public so we can see how many bullets we already got from the. Uh... So we start with, yeah, we start with, with 20 already in our clip. So I can now shoot for 20, holding it until it's done. Now I reload and then it should take 20. There it goes and I'm taking 20. So now I fire. Wait until it's done. And now I don't get any new bullets anymore. All right, let's uh, give it a reload halfway. So let's fire a few. There we go. Uh, right now I have fired five. Let's fire a few more. Eight. Uh, amount taken zero. Let's reload. So we could. Uh, it should take eight because we fired eight shots fired in clip zero. So it topped the the clip. Seven goes back to zero. Inventory now fifteen. So now I can only take if I empty this uh, clip. I can only take five. Uh, I got. I get only five bullets left to uh, to shoot. So shot fired in clip should go to uh, 15 when I reload now. There we go. So that's the way we work with um, with the container using uh, an inventory for our weapons. Uh, thank you very much. See you in the next video.